Gatorland 2024. Woo! A little bit of a rough start. Yeah, but you guys are twins. Where are we yeah, at, we are. Twins. We, we spoke this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to take you guys to see all the crocodiles in Gatorland that come from all around the world. This stop on our tour of crocodiles of the world here at Gatorland is Africa. So Nile crocodiles, the second largest crocodilian on this planet, lives in Africa, eats big stuff, antelope, wildebeest, gazelles. So this is Delilah. Now Delilah has always traditionally been the matriarch here in the main lake, the biggest Nile crocodile here in the main lake, but she's been usurped by Lulu, who we put out here and immediately fell in love with Lyle. Niles actually kill and eat more people every year than all the other crocodilians combined. Nice. Yes. That is Get nice. up closer and see if we can make that happen. No, I'm not going to show you that. Why? I mean, That's what people want to see. That's why they watch the channel. They want the big crocodiles to eat somebody. So Lyle can... Nah, Delilah could pull a couple legs off. It's breeding season right now. So the Nile crocodiles don't want to do anything right now. They can eat. 365 days a year, but they only breed for a certain time. They do romance each other all the time, but they only really breed and lay eggs once a year. Next stop is one of my favorite and one of the most beautiful places on the planet, Cuba. So there's three of us, and there's three Cuban crocodiles. Who are you taking, Ricardo? Yeah, I'll have Ricardo. No, I like to take Ricardo. I didn't get a Nile, I'll take Ricardo. Oh, Mike, where are we going? We're trapped. Take a lane, Mike. Don't leave me with two. Give him crocodiles might not be the biggest, but once they lack inside, they make up his feet. I'm not too worried about Ricardo. It's the girl. Yeah. Ricardo is super It's always strong, the girl. But not as fast. The Especially girls are always the problem. That's it. Always. In every species. creature of life. <laughs> That's what death looks like. You keep the crocodile staring at you at the same time. I feel like it's Jurassic Park. Do the Jurassic Park pose. Whoa, 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 whoa! That will be death if you uh, keep throwing chicken at my feet. So I have had the privilege to get your way to travel to Cuba many times. And one of the things I love the most about Cuba are these crocodiles. That's actually the reason I ever went there before I even worked at Gatorland. So Cuban crocodiles are critically endangered species, living only in one teeny tiny area called Zapata Swamp. Now Zapata Swamp is a vast wetland. It's so beautiful, almost like it is down in the Florida Everglades. Cuban crocodiles are the smartest of all crocodiles. In my opinion, Gator Lake Global has actually helped release over 30 Cuban crocodiles back into Zapata Swamp to help increase their distribution and their population. And now we're gonna go to the next in the world where we have crocodiles. This crocodile of the world stop is from Venezuela. She is on it. So Orinoco crocodiles do come from Venezuela and where they live in Venezuela, their status is in danger, critically in danger, with almost less than a thousand left on the planet Earth. The crocodiles came to us from the Dallas World Aquarium and also from Croc Encounters in Texas. And we're also raising up two juvenile Orinoco crocodiles that I will be taking back to Venezuela to release to help increase their population. Big boy. Another stop 
on our Crocodiles Around the World Tour right here in Florida. My laugh so hard when anything tries to bite me. He thinks, I, look at his face. It's not the bite, look it's the, it scared you. I like people it's when they scary. get scared. It's scary, it's a crocodile. It so I like it when people get scared. So now we're in with our American crocodiles. Uh, in Jamaica where these are also found, they call them jam crocs. Come here, fly. Next stop, Australia. They're sneaking up on me right now. All right, big boy, Dundee. Dundee, come on. force to be reckoned with. He hasn't eaten for about a month because it's been cold here, but uh, he was coming in with the heat today.